It's Monday, and, and every Monday, Walt Grayson has another story for us about who we are and where we live. Only where we live is stretching it a little before today. Yeah, you could say that because this story is about a cemetery. And Walt, now you say this one in particular is one of your very favorite places. Oh, man, I've told people for a long, long time that I like any cemetery I can walk out of. <laughs> Because cemeteries are for the living, not for the dead. And Natchez City Cemetery certainly fits that for the living category. Natchez City Cemetery is like a city itself. It's spread out over 100 acres with a population of well over 50,000. People who died in Natchez since 1822 are buried here. And you'll find them in everything from unmarked graves to magnificent crypts and with beautiful monuments and statues to mark their final resting places, with eloquent epitaphs that go on and on, carved on their grave markers to memorialize their lives, all the way down to simple sentences like Louise, the unfortunate. Louise, period, the unfortunate. Like the unfortunate's the best thing they could remember about her. Louise is buried right across a retaining wall from seven-year-old Rosalie Beekman. Rosalie was killed by a Civil War shell fragment from a bombardment of the city by a Union gunboat. Turns out little Rosalie was the only Civil War battle casualty in Natchez. Seven-year-old girl. Inside this block pyramid is a man buried sitting in his rocking chair. The Turning Angel is perhaps the best known statue in the cemetery. It is said to turn and watch you as you pass at a distance. Optical illusion. Or maybe it really does. Florence Irene Ford died of yellow fever in the 1870s. She's buried with a set of steps behind her headstone leading down to the coffin level. When storms would blow up, her mother would sit at the bottom of those steps so little Florence wouldn't be alone. More than 50,000 people are buried here along with their own stories. But if death is what we think it is, they couldn't care less where they're buried or what's placed atop them. All of that cemetery dressing is for the living. A city of monuments that look as natural as if they'd grown here. And lanes and streets where bikers bike and joggers jog and sightseers see. And how we remember the past. And hope someone will think enough of us when we're gone to write a nice word or two over us. Or at least as nice as they can. Tickets, by the way, are on sale for the most popular event at the cemetery, Angels on the Bluff. It's a nighttime tour mm -hmm. of Natchez City Cemetery. Uh, it's uh, the 7th, 8th, and 9th of November. You can buy them at the Natchez Visitor Center. And, and they take you through and they explain different they ones? They pick out maybe about a dozen people and have reenactors out there next to the graves wow. portraying that person. That's a beautiful cemetery. That's pretty cool. It's a great yes. cemetery, yeah. Gorgeous.